from CFC Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by the one and only Charlie the Hurricane Skillen. Yes, Raw. Chelsea are top of the league. Yeah, we're top of A League. Well, we've, we've Europa League group. We're through. Or we are through. We've just <laughs> yeah. we've just won. We've uh, beaten Bate Borisov one 0 and Olivier Giroud goal. And it's exactly what we needed. It was not a good performance. It wasn't convincing at all. Bate hit the post twice, once the very death, and it could have been a very uh, very different complexion had that gone in. Mm. But Kepper had it covered. <laughs> Maybe. Generous. But not an easy place to go. No, not an easy no, place no. to go and win. And we've done it. We've got an important game on Sunday against Everton. They've rested some real, real key players for this game. Like you said, it's a long way. It's a very tough place to go. And um, we've won and we're through with, with two games less. And if you're at the start of the Europa League campaign, that's exactly what you want. So I don't think you can say fairer than that. My main kind of takeaway from tonight is that Olivier Giroud has finally scored Brilliant, this, isn't it? this season. I think when he was starting ahead of Morata, he was playing really well. And I thought he brought out the best in Hazard. And I thought the whole team played quite well. But I think it's really important for him to get off the market. It was a vintage Giroud goal. It was like yeah. a kind of, it was, it was a very, very good header. Great cross from uh, Palmieri yeah. on, from the left hand side. And it was, it was just a blinding kind of glancing header. Yeah. It's exactly the sort of goals you want to see and him scoring. And it was a winner. It's nice. He's got a big yeah, goal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it is a big goal, you know, because and now... If, if, if they can start finding a bit of form, you know, Morata, we've seen a drastic improvement yeah, recently. Big time, really big impressive time. goal ratio at the moment. You know, mm. more goals than, than Bobby Firmino and loads of yeah, other players. Yeah, really impressive. Yeah. If Olivier Giroud can now weigh in with his fair share of goals, we become a very, very daunting proposition for well, other opposition, don't we? Well, we do. I mean, you think this, this time, like six weeks ago, we were saying the whole team looks really good, but the strikers aren't scoring. Yeah. And and now the strikers are scoring and you hope that Giroud, when he gets a chance, when he comes on, you know, I, I think for the foreseeable future, given his form in the last sort of four or five games, I think Morata's going to be starting in the league games, yeah. which obviously wasn't the case maybe six weeks ago. Um, but I think when Giroud comes on, that goal is going to give him such confidence. I could tell when he, I went down to Southampton, Giroud came on and everyone was willing for him to score yeah. and he was trying so hard. He was like trying bicycle kicks, yeah, he was yeah, shooting yeah, outside yeah. the area. Anything he could get his hands on, he was he was kind of going for. Um, so I think it's great to see him get off the mark. And I think more importantly, just brilliant to be through. The the, the, the other two games, who have we got? The, the Greeks at home. And, and then, then you're I'm, off to, I off to Budapest. I am flying off to Budapest for the second time in like a yeah. few weeks, which is mad. But um, I'm flying off to Budapest just before Christmas, which is going to be so cold. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> it's it's going to be so cold. No, no, Christmas I'm, markets, I'm, Chelsea playing. Yeah, no, no, I'm looking forward to it. But the good thing is we can we can really use those games as rest now. Yes. You know, like at the end, it was great to see Hudson Odoi come on. I'd like to see him way more involved because obviously these games, these games now are irrelevant. We're, we're through as yeah. we're through as winners. I, I think Vidi can still get there if my right. math is correct. But no, we, they won't. You know, we'll on but, yeah, 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 yeah. we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So <clears> we are through. Um, and how does tonight? Does it have any impact on the Everton game? Obviously, we saw Eden Hazard playing tonight. Was that yeah. the right move? I think it was. I saw a lot of people upset on Twitter that he wasn't kind of putting his feet up uh, up at Cobham. But I think it was. He He's not had a great amount of game time in the last three or four weeks. He's had a, he's had quite a bad injury and he's obviously so key to us. He obviously didn't play the whole game. Um, and I think it was just important to get him a bit of match fitness. Everton are a good side. They're in decent form. We're going to need him. And I think if he'd have just played, tried to play 90 minutes against Everton without that, 60 minutes or whatever it was under his belt then um, then I, I, I'm not sure that he would have been in the best condition so while it is a lot of travelling and all that for him I, th I think it was the right move and I think you could tell he was a little bit out of sorts you know a couple of balls that he played it quite didn't go to plan but um, you know I, I, I'm, I'm glad he played and I think I think they he'll, he'll bode well, he'll, he'll for, he'll well for Everton yeah, exactly. the rest of the season guys thank you all so much for watching this video I'm delighted Chelsea have won we should be we are, well, we are through. We should be top. And we'll see you on the next video. Oh, you blows.